हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हरदीप सिंह फ्रॉम गति ग्रुप ऑफ क्लासेस वेलकम्स यू ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल गाइस दिस वीडियो मेड इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज आल्सो द लिंक विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब ओवर देयर एंड यू कैन वॉच द हिंदी वर्जन ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट द पोलिटिकल पार्टीज वी हैव द टॉपिक दैट इज पोलिटिकल पार्टीज दैट इज द चैप्टर लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ यूर पोलिटिकल साइंस क्लास इन सी दिस इज द लेक्चर वन and uh, let's see that uh, what are the topics that we are going to be cover in this video that is what is political party functions of political parties why do we need political parties and how many parties should we have so let's start without wasting any time so first topic is what is political party first of all we know that we have many of the parties in india such as the bjp indian national congress aam aadmi party so we have that much of the political parties and even that is a group of people if you will write these things in the exam so that will be easier for you to uh, have good marks so a group of people that who came together to context election and hold the power in the government those are known as political party and all the political parties want to hold and maintain political power they want to came in power they want to rule over the country and they form some policies and the programs just for the promoting of the national interest that uh, that is for the social welfare of the people but they do have the different views that uh, uh, every single party is in the opinion of any uh, one single uh, like topic that they uh, they want to improve that better better than others so they seek to implement these policies by winning popular support through elections because only elections are the one way that they can win in the elections and they can rule over the country and the over the people and they can form the policies whatever they decided so let's see that uh, those parties every party they have the fundamental political division of the society because they are also the part of uh, our society so they have the partnership with our society and thus every party they have their own identity they have their own idols and they support the different actions they support and they stands for the different like uh, uh, someone will stand for the poor people someone will stand with for the rich people someone will stand with the military uh, actions so a political party has three components the first one is the leaders like those are the main leaders and the active members those are also participating in the rallies and all and the followers those are the uh, those are giving voting to them you know those, those are voting to them and they are just helping them out to win the support in the government so there is a one more topic that is function of the political parties <clears throat> what are the functions of the political parties first of all the declaration of the policies if we are talking about the declaration of policies means those policies which are in the favor of the people or in the social welfare or in the favor of the nation or in the favor of the country like these are domestic and on the international level these policies can be made so political parties forward their considered views whatever they uh, look ke bhi this is good and this is good because uh, sometimes when uh, uh, we have seen that many of the rallies that uh, they just want to make us uh, like believe that they will do something for us so they just do it only and only to win the support and every party have their own research wings like what are the problems that country is facing and the think tanks that what are the policies that we have to make for the particular that problem so every party have those uh, departments to guide them and molding public opinion this is the second function of the political party now every party they have to do one important thing that is to mold the public opinion with the help of the mass communication such as press like news and radio television street corner meetings like we can see that many of the rallies are going to be conducted at the time of the elections by the different parties so that is to uh, like uh, uh, that is to help out the molding in the public opinion they circulate handbells even the circular posters even they uh, they just pasted the many of the posters on the walls of the people like pamphlets booklets just to uh, make them Uh, like to win in the elections in this way political parties try to influence the people and to mold their public opinion so political parties are the main importance over here so the next is elections every party want to win elections every what party the text elections 
बट इन द डेमोक्रेसी इन द डेमोक्रेसी ने इलेक्शन आर कंटेस्टेड मेनली अमंग द कैंडिडेट दो आर पुट फॉरवर्ड बाय द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज और हैज बीन चूजन बाय देम ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो पार्टीज सेलेक्ट देयर कैंडिडेट्स इन देयर डिफरेंट वेज लाइक इन मेनी ऑफ द कंट्रीज सच एज यूएसए मेंबर्स एंड सपोर्टर्स ऑफ दैट पार्टी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्टी दे चूज देयर कैंडिडेट्स दैट हुएवर द पर्सन दैट हैव टू स्टैंड फ्रॉम व्हिच डिफरेंट एरिया नाउ मोर एंड मोर कंट्रीज आर फॉलोइंग दिस मेथड but in india if we will look about the india the top party leaders they choose their candidates for contesting in the elections now the next function is selection of the candidate and the participation in the election political parties contest election we know already know but for this purpose they have to look after the, for the suitable candidate that who can help them out to support the uh, to support the election from that particular area so they choose the candidate which is the suitable for that area and there is one aim one single aim that is winning the majority <clears throat> and they formulate an election strategy and sometimes they just uh, made some alliances with the another parties also just to make the government and if we look about the another things that is to form and to run the government formation of government is one of the main aim and function of political party just because because they want to rule over the country for this purpose party they should have a clear and absolute majority in the legislature like such as in lok sabha because uh, in india there is only one election that is lok sabha because rajya sabha has the uh, indirect elections but lok sabha should have the direct elections in parliamentary system leader of the party in power becomes the prime minister such as now the narendra modi is the prime minister and he appoints the other ministers in his cabinet those are total in number is 14 so let's talk about the role of opposition party or parties those form the government they constitute the opposition also because the ruling party is the different one but the opposition those are the second majority party they will perform as the opposition leaders and what is the function of them there is one more important function that is criticism of the working of government its policies and its failures they just uh, keep on check the government while they are using their powers without any discretion whether they are using their powers without any dictatorship or not the opposition party moves different motions such as if they will not uh, if they are not going to like some uh, like uh, opinions of the ruling party then they will just start the no confidence motion in the legislature that they are not in the favor even outside the legislature they just continue to make an organized criticism of the government's policies like uh, uh, such as we can uh, take the example of the demonetization at that time many of the parties they just uh, were worried about that uh, that uh, in india this is uh, not good opinion so the function of the opposition is to oppose to expose the policies which are wrong has been done by the ruling party so it's just one aim that is good governance in the country there should be one aim that is good governance and one more thing is that is link between the government and the people now the parties if we don't have the parties then not a single person can go to the directly to the president or the to the uh, that uh, like uh, any of the government hai na so every party is a bridge between people as well as between the government so they listen the problems of the people because political parties should have their oh, only that much of work they also explain government difficulties and their point of view the political parties are like a bridge access to government so parties they just provide government machinery to the people just to use them as for the welfare schemes which is implemented by the government for an ordinary uh, citizens it is very easy to approach to a local party leader but it is not easy job to approach to a government officer or a government directly so that is why people choose political parties and parties have to be responsible for the people's need and as well as their demands 
otherwise people can reject them in the next elections like if they don't like the policies of the government they can reject them in the coming elections and they can make win other parties need of the political parties without political parties democracy is not cannot be established it is not possible because without political parties every candidate will be independent and no one can form the government in any single majority so without political parties government cannot be formed and elective elected representative will be accountable to the respective constituencies like uh, if someone uh, is not standing from our own constituency then uh, who uh, will be the responsible for the whatever the things are going to be wrong in the our particular area so that representative will be responsible whosoever was standing over there at that time now need of political parties the principle of the representative democracy it is not workable if the political parties are not there every country on the large scale societies they do follow the uh, only the principle of the representative democracy so let's see that democracy need some way to bring various representative together so that a responsible government can be formed so it will be easier for the people to approach that political person that whosoever is there to do their work very correctly so democracy also need a mechanism to support to restrain make policies justify or oppose them so political parties just fulfill these all the needs which are we need we can say that this is the very necessary condition that is political parties for a democracy so how many parties should we have so this is the main major point is over here like in democracy any group of citizen is free <coughs> to form a political party so as many as parties can be over there but in india we have seen that 750 parties are registered with the election commission of india we will read about single party system bi party system as well as with the multi party system so let's talk about the single party system single party system that in some of the countries only one party is allowed to control and run the government although minor parties may can participate but they have to accept the leadership of the dominant party this is the main issue that is uh, required over there and these are called one party or single party system so communist states like uh, china cuba vietnam they all have the single party system like in china there is a communist party of china those are allowed to rule other parties are also allowed but they have to accept the dominance of that communist party although people are free that they can make the political parties but they don't have the chance to gain the power so disadvantages of single party system as well as in the democracy this is totally against the principle of democracy at least there should be two parties but single party system do not provide voters to any choice like uh, voters do not have that much of choice that to whom they want to vote so in the bi party system bi party system is two party system you have to make it remember that this is two party system under bi party system political power usually changes between two main parties like such as in india we have only two major parties that is uh, one is congress and the one is bjp so every time they are just changing their positions several other parties may exist context election but they don't have that much of courage that they can win the single majority over there in the lok sabha elections but only two parties they should have the serious chance of winning over there such as united states of america and united kingdom they are the good examples of the two party system now we have a topic that is multi party system it is a system which is more than two parties can perform or two more than two parties like 3 4 5 6 7 like such as 750 they can like they can uh, come into the power but we in india have a multi party system what are the advantages they provide a wider choice to the voters like uh, whatsoever the party will be uh, compatible with their demands so they will choose that party so due representation is given to all the section of the society like every member of the different section like uh, lower class upper class middle class they can like participate in that party government if they cannot act arbitrarily and one more thing disadvantages of multi party system 
and actually uh, there is a no any single party that those can win the majority alone so they have to they just make to collision they just make collision with the another parties collision government that leads to political instability because someone sometimes some people or some mlas or some mps they can just take back their support from that ruling party and then at that condition the ruling parties government will be dissolved in multi party system there is a great difficulty in the formation of government now we have one more thing that is collision <clears throat> what is the meaning of collision collision is when two or more than two parties they just collide with each other they just uh, agree with each other to make the government now but in the starting of at uh, when we got independence that was the another scenario but now the time we have the uh, another situation at least two decades in the last two these decades the collision government are being formed under this collision government is formed by various party different different parties they just came together and they just started to make the government like they are known as alliance or a front for example in india in 2004 and 2009 there are three main alliances the national democratic alliance united progressive alliance and left front if we will talk about the uh, like uh, they are known as nda upa and left front that is full okay so now the next thing is in the collision that is the party system is not something that any country can choose because if uh, for a long time that uh, this is a nature of society like it's a social and regional deviations divisions that a history of politics and its system of elections like if uh, in india there are many of the parties this is just because of our geographical and as well as the society's uh, differentiation that's why they make the different different parties with everyone this cannot be changed very quickly each country develops their party system not only in one day but for a very special circumstances for example india they has evolved a multi party system just because of social and geographical diversity but it is not easy that can be changed into two or even three parties so no system is ideal for all the countries and all situations so in the democracy there is a need of political parties that uh, that is compulsory so guys uh, today we have only this much of topic and the next topic we will start in the next video so if you like the video then please like it share it among your friends and as well as just hit the like button just subscribe our channel and just hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications on time thank you very much guys bye bye everyone